How was your interview? I love this line. Or pajamas, the job interview? Tell me again, you don't understand why you didn't get the job. Duh, okay. Make certain you come in professional as you come. You, you want to sit down and be the best one, not a mediocre one. Put your best game on in the process. Have good phone etiquette. You don't know what that person that's calling you is. You may think, well, they're just an administrative assistant. I've seen administrative assistants that were quizzed by the interview committee as to how polite the candidate was. As a matter of fact, we were hiring a dean at one position. And at the, at the process, the vice president sat there and told us all, says, I just want to relate what happened over here. My administrative assistant, she had to reschedule this person four times to come and meet with you because they kept on having other things come in the way. We didn't hire the person. They lost a job because they were rude and they were snarly on the phone with the administrative assistant. Don't think for a second that there's somebody picks you up at the airport and they drive you there, that they're not sitting there asking you questions for the interview committee. Be professional in everything. Tell family members and roommates how to answer. Don't let children take the call. I know that a lot of people think their kids are wonderful, and maybe they are, except your future is on the line as they say, hey, dad, hey, mom, what's going on? You don't want to have that happen. Don't answer a cell call unless you're prepared to talk, okay? Respond back, but don't sit there driving in a car and somebody calls you for a job interview and they're going to interview while you're driving the car going down the freeway. No. Okay. Use voicemail to screen call so you're organized and ready for the conversation. If you see the phone come up and you're driving, pull over and sit down there, prepare yourself mentally, and call them back as soon as you can safely in the process. Before the interview, Make certain you keep that first conversation impressive. There's an ugly number sitting out there. Some people make a decision as to whether or not the candidate is going to fit the job in the first two and a half seconds in the interview. That is wrong, 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 but it doesn't change the fact that they do it, do it, do it. Usually, most people will sit down and make a decision in the first six minutes of the interview when I run a committee, I always encourage everybody to keep their minds open for 30 minutes and not to hire yourself, but hire the best person for that job over there. So, so be cautious on it. Keep a list on your cell phone or near landlines of the different jobs that you applied for. If you're actively in the market, you may have 30, 40, 50 resumes sitting out over there and somebody calls you, you want to keep in your head what you did in the process. So keep a spreadsheet or whatever you have in the process. Treat any call like an interview. Be professional, businesslike, and above all things, enthusiastic. You're happy they call. Okay, have your resume, references, your calendar, your calendar, your calendar, make certain it's available. Okay, and notepad handy. And before you hang up, okay, confirm any dates, times, or the address for your interview. Make certain you have it all down pat. You don't want to be that person that sat there and said, I got a phone call and I got a resume the interview coming up. So, so don't be that person. Verify the spelling of the caller's name because you may end up having to use that name later on and or send a thank you card. And you don't want to insult them by misspelling their name in the process. Before the interview, look on the company's website, news sources, put the name into the Google search engine and take a look at what's going on out there. Learn about the mission, learn about big things that are happening inside a company, Learn about its culture, its competitors, its reputation in the community. All that could be a big thing. Check the social media presence. Read everything about the company so you walk in with a good knowledge of what's really happening. If you know somebody that's currently employed there, sit down there and call them up and see what's going on inside the company. Even if they're not part of the interview process, they may give you some skinny as to what's going on in the process. We heard, prepare success stories, practice them in front of a mirror, better off if you can, practice them in front of somebody else. If you have any digital dirt out there, okay, try to clean that up. Uh, if you have ridiculous posts that you've done and regret them ever since you were a teenager, try to get those cleaned up also. Anything that's out there in the public domain is open for them to take a look at. So remove that. Be selective about your friends, okay, on, on your social media. Um, and, and don't discuss your job search on social media if you're still employed. 
somebody will tell no matter what happens or how confidential you promise them in the process. When you're traveling to the interview, make certain you leave plenty of time. Make certain if something goes sideways that you sit down and have something extra to change into. One time I cut myself shaving and I didn't know it and I arrived and I had a big blood stain on my collar. It was awful. I had to run to the local store, buy a shirt. The shirt didn't quite fit. looked pretty nice though. Okay, didn't quite fit and everything else. Make certain you have plenty of time to groom and dress. Arrive plenty of time early. Don't do anything that, that has excessive odor, whether it's food or cologne deodorant in the process of perfume. Be courteous to every single person that you meet and greet the interviewer confidently. Sit down there and be confident that you're going to do well on that job and relax, relax, relax. Practice answering questions in mock interviews. Prepare thoroughly. Okay, no matter what happens, that you're going to be nervous as you come through. So just reduce it and just relax in the process. As long as you know what's going on, you have you prepared yourself as best you can. Dress professionally, feel confident, breathe deeply. Okay, and remember the interview is a two-way street. In my mind, the two-way street part really is a big thing because I'm watching them as they watch me in the process. Polish your interview. Treat everybody with dignity and respect. Rehearse your success stories. Know about your strengths and your weaknesses. A lot of times they're the same thing. Okay, I'm really good over here, but that certainly has a couple things that are negative as well. Arrive early, dress well, and of all things, be ready. Take care.